Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be choosing my birthday outfit or outfits. Basically, I'll probably wear the top ones from this video. I've ordered a few bits from a few different places. We've got some stuff from ASOS. I've got quite a few dresses from ASOS, quite a few dresses from Zara. And then we've got some old outfits as well, which are serious contenders for birthday dress. So we've got quite a few options, some new, some old. I'm gonna talk you through them, try them on with you today, and we can all decide what I wear for b-day so if you're new here hi my name's Susie. i have quite a big birthday coming up so i want something that is like me and reflects where i am right now but it's like a little bit special maybe something that i wouldn't wear on like every night out and we do have some things that i would wear on every night out and then we have some things that are a little bit different for me and something that i maybe haven't worn before so i kind of wanted to have something that i like always remember as that being like oh that was that birthday dress there is actually one dress that hasn't arrived yet i think it's going to arrive later this afternoon but i wanted to crack on with you guys so that one will be being popped in right at the end it is stunning stunning i mean i hope it looks as good on me as it does on ASOS but I got the last one. Someone returned a size 8 and I honestly honestly was like over the moon so I'm praying it's the dress because I think it could be the dress like it's just that little bit glam but not too out there that I would like never wear it again or too like trendy if that makes sense so yeah it's like that perfect mix of like something that I would wear in a colour that I would always wear but it's got like something a little bit special to it so yeah very excited for that and that will be at the end. I also have one backup coming from Revolve but that's not going to come for a little while so that will probably be like not the birthday dress but a dress around my birthday. I'll pop a picture of it on screen here but I think it's very cute. Something that I will wear basically over the festive season and will always be in my wardrobe because it's just very cute. A nice little backup. I'm gonna get started with something that's a little bit fruity from Zara. So you see what I mean about something that is like in a style that I like to wear. So we've got the bodycon, it's off shoulder which is very cute but it is a bold colour which I would not always wear but I love this style of dress I always think it looks so pretty the colors are like they could be summery but they kind of bridge that like summer to autumn gap a little bit I think because they've got the black background as well and it's got the like purple flowers on it so I'm feeling like this is like a good transitional going out dress but yeah I'm really not sure I loved it on the website it was another one of those ones that I like sat on for ages like refreshing hoping that it would come back in my size it did I picked it up I do love a sweetheart neckline I think with a little bit of Saint Tropez tan on this would look incredible like all the colors would really pop I just think it could be so gorgeous so I'm gonna try this on I got it in a size small it was 29.99 it's got ruching up the back as well so I think it's gonna make my like silhouette look really good and it's also a zip up but it's got quite a lot of stretch around the arms and bits like that and around the body it feels quite stretchy as well so a great one for going from dinner to drinks i've tried to make sure that all of these dresses would be okay going from dinner to drinks so this dress at first i wasn't quite sure on i have just made a few little tweaks not really tweaks just like added a few bits i've definitely helped the overall like shape of the dress so the dress doesn't have like a lot of structure to it or anything like that so i've added my favorite wonder bra strapless bra underneath this to kind of like help give it some lift it also not only gives lift but it like helps the rest of the body retain like shape as well and then i also have like a little skins thing going on underneath which i will 100 percent wear because i'm going for dinner i will be eating i want to be held in no food baby situation nothing and with a dress like this it definitely like helps to have that going on underneath as well as a little bit of it with the wonder bra which is just perfect it's just helped to really retain the shape of the dress because the dress is lovely and just having some specific underwear items like underneath has helped to really make the most of the dress and the shape that it gives in terms of the print at first i was not so sure but i think in terms of like the cut of the dress and how it looks overall like the shape of it now i think it has definitely grown on me so this one is a high contender i feel very very special in this does it feel a little bit summery yes so i'm kind of still on the fence with this one i would love to know whether you think it is like a contender for birthday dress or not i'd love it if you could all do a full breakdown in the comments look by look we can number them i want your score for each of them so that i can like rank we can all vote we can all pick our favorites next we have like quite a few dresses that have a similar vibe this one is the one that i think is going to be my favorite it's probably the most simple to be honest now my reservation with the next few dresses is that there is like a color palette going on and i'm not sure if it's special enough to like qualify for like birthday dress for such a special birthday so you know we're gonna 
we're gonna see this could be something that i just wear for like other special occasions but this one's a really lovely ruched midi dress it's gonna be quite long on me it could even be a maxi we'll see the good thing about it being ruched is that it will you can ruch it up a little bit more it's got a nice v cut around the chest i'm hoping that the way that it falls you know that kind of like cupping motion that it's got there i'm hoping that will be flattering and not unflattering because it can go either way it has a low back which is really pretty and then goes into a ruched bum which i just think would work so so beautifully so yeah another great one from dinner to drinks is a little bit thinner when it comes to like going out for dinner i don't love a dress being too thin i like a little bit of structure i find that it really like just hold you in i don't want too much structure to the point where i can't breathe but a thicker material can work wonders so we'll see so you guys need to let me know if this one is a contender because if it is i'm going to have to hunt it down or patiently wait for it to come back into stock in my size because i've got this one in a 10 which isn't ideal for a very kind of thin ruched bodycon there's a little bit too much material in certain places for me for example on the back it's just not like molding to the shape of my body there's a lot of excess material so it's kind of falling flat instead of like curving to the arch of my back and it's just not giving me the best shape here so i'd say i definitely need it in an eight if not maybe a tiny bit smaller i also am having the slight issue of because it is bigger it falls down a little bit more and you can just just see my bra strap at the back however i could rectify this by getting one of those little cute clips i can't remember if they're actually for like something else but i've seen a few people this might be like a tiktok hack i can't remember where i saw it but there are these cute little clips that kind of clip your straps here and it kind of just like pulls them in a bit more also means that you can have like a brace back top on and it's not like an issue but for me this would work really well because the straps are like a little bit too long and i feel like it just needs a little bit less strap so really cute overall it does take a little bit of faffing to kind of like get the ruching into the right place when i first put it on all the ruching was kind of like falling to the bottom and this area here fell a bit flat but once you kind of like pull it up over your body it sits really really well so let me know do we love it should i keep my eye out for this in a smaller size or should i move on to something better we then have this little this is gonna be so hard to show you this little brown number this is like a dark brown which i kind of like because it's like it's not quite black but it's not like a light brown which i feel to me is a little bit more casual this one has like a halter neck kind of drops over the chest like that on both sides it has a cut out in the middle and then a ruched skirt it's a mini length i got it in a size small and it was 29.99 we'll see i love a halter neck I really love a halter neck and it's got a lot of material and it doesn't feel like super thin like it's got a lining underneath and then like quite a lot of like thick material whereas the brown one that I showed you before this kind of like drapey material was much thinner so we will see is there a zip or am I just squeezing in what is the stitch here I think it's meant to be stretchy and I'm just squeezing in so uh we will see. I'll correct myself in the try on if I find it all the way in. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I almost cut this one out of the video because it just looks so lackluster when it's like on a hanger. I was really not vibing with it. I think I've made the mistake of putting too many brown dresses in this video as well. I'm like really over it. It's just not exciting when you see a pile of the same color dress. <laughs> However, I am so glad that I didn't just like scrap this one because I actually really love it. Like even if I don't wear it for birthday, I'm keeping it. I love it. It's so rare that I find like a mini dress that is actually like fully mini on me normally. It kind of comes down to like this awkward point on my leg, which I don't really mind anymore. Like I love wearing heels now, whereas back in the day, if I was wearing like a flat sandal, I'd be a bit like, this doesn't bang the way I want it to, you know? But I absolutely love it. I personally love like a halter neck style dress. I really like the cutout. I like the fact that though you can't wear a bra with this because it's the halter neck, it actually gives you a little bit of lift. So it works really, really nicely. And then it's ruched on the bottom. So perfect for like giving shape, but also if you're eating out and like drinking and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm very pleasantly surprised with this one. I feel really, really great in it. And although it's not the most exciting dress, I think sometimes how something makes you feel is like the most important thing. So this is definitely a contender for birthday dress for one of my like birthday occasions for sure i really love this one now the next one i actually have the asos version and let me do this zip up the zara version i think the zara version is going to be slightly better quality it's got quite thick shoulder pads which i find on my silhouette do really bang so you know it has that going for it it's got a drapey top half long sleeves and then goes into this like draped ruched 
bottom which i just think could be very very flattering the cut is a lot more simple i think that that could really work for me i do actually find like a more simple cut sometimes does like wonders for me i'm not sure what that is i think maybe being a little bit like shorter it's just like there's less going on in less space does that make sense color is gorgeous it doesn't quite like some of the browns really make my hair color pop and some of them don't this is one of the ones that i don't feel does but we'll see what it looks like on i'm really excited to try this one it's one of those like very elegant birthday dresses i picked up a few dresses in this style because i just think you can't go wrong with them this one was really hard for me to get into on my own we have a zip all the way up the back kind of situation and it was a little bit tricky but i like this one it fits really well i seem to be having really good luck with the zara dresses so far but it is purely because the zara dresses i was actually able to get hold of in my size whereas asos i was working with little bits of like one size up one size down so in addition to the materials being slightly different i do feel like zara has the upper hand in this video just purely because i was able to get items in my size because of that this one fits really well i do like it the shoulders are outrageous i was going to like a work thing this was bang and i feel very good in it and i wouldn't think twice about it but the fact that it's more like birthday than work situation i'm a bit like is this necessary i'm not sure i think it's a bit i don't know it's a little bit too like fashion on the shoulders for what i would think of for like a birthday dress if that makes sense so yeah this one might not be the one but it is still a very lovely dress and very fun as well the shoulders are fun it's got the little cut out which i really like as well it's a good length if you are shorter not if you're taller the sleeves are a little bit long but i actually kind of like a long sleeve but yeah let me know what you think of this one i think it's a really cute one i just don't think it's the birthday dress next up we have an asymmetric dress which kind of matches my hair we'll see we'll see how i get on with this one so i really like the fact that the shoulder strap on this one is adjustable i think that's fab it comes diagonally across your chest ruched drapey are they all going to blend into one probably yeah again i got a size small and this one was 49.99 this one does feel quite like thick and sturdy which is fab and the ruching on the side of this one is actually adjustable it's got little ties which is great if you're a different height you can alter it to suit your height which we love so this one's cute but it's not wowing me i am struggling with the shoulder straps a little they're really like stiff to move but then the ruching at the side is also you can alter the bottom half but you can't alter the ruching on the top half and i just feel like that leaves it looking slightly out of proportion if you really ruch the bottom half and then the top half just doesn't kind of match up you can't get like an even spread of material and it just looks a little bit weird it's a cute dress but it's just not wowing me then we have this asos dress which actually has a bit more of a blue tone to the brown i kind of like it it's got a really nice like depth to the color and the material although probably very like polyester -y, does like bounce the light really nicely and i think it looks a little bit more expensive than it actually is i got a size eight asos i really struggled with getting everything in my size so some of the asos items will be like a 10 and some of them are going to be a six i think i can't remember which is which and some of them i vetoed immediately as they came out the bag so the random sizes may not have actually made the cut and we may be doing okay but we'll see it has a zip back so like really nice and easy to get into it's like really simple across the chest and the arms and then the little mini skirt is like all ruched and kind of like drapey and really cute and it's got like a decent structure to it but with enough flexibility to be good for like going out for a dinner and i think like the ruching over the kind of like hip belly area if you're going out for dinner food baby what food baby don't know i actually really like this one i'm not sure i'm not sure that it's a birthday dress but there's something about this that I just love. It fits really well. I like the fact that the top is like baggier and then the bottom is tighter. It's got the perfect amount of like ruching and the material feels really great, like really nice and soft. I think it's gonna be a great like event dress for the winter. Maybe something I'll keep for like a winter wedding. It could be quite like a fun one for like, if you're invited to like the evening. But yeah, I don't know if it's giving me like birthday vibes it's giving me like cute dinner owl vibes or like a work kind of thing vibe but yeah i do really like it it's very cute fits really nicely yeah i like it i'm happy with it i really like the ruching on the side oh, it was very very cute that is it for the brown dresses now that wasn't even all of them i had to veto some before we started the video next things get a little bit fruity again we have a dress in a similar style to the previous one but it is in a bright pink i just thought it's my birthday maybe maybe we could go with the pink but i'm not sure 
I don't know, not always a pink girl, but it would definitely be a memorable birthday dress. It has a similar top half to the previous dress with a mini skirt that has like a ruched section to it, which is currently unruched. Let me, let me see if I can do a little bit. So there we are. We have this lovely little ruched bit above the leg, which I just think will be so flattering. You can like tighten it or loosen it as much as you need for the length that you want. And it just gives you a lovely little bit of shape, which you can kind of see coming through here. It could be a cute one. It could be a cute one. We'll see. We will see. This one could be a contender, people. This one is so fun. It's really cute. I like it a lot. I really like where the ruching is on the leg. This kind of positioning of the ruching like really gives you almost a little bit more length to your leg. I just think it's really cute. I'm very happy with the color. Not one that I would normally go for, nor that I would normally think would suit me, but I don't know, it looks really cute. I'd say it's a slightly more fitted top than the brown one. Yeah, slightly more fitted on top, so I've just got a little bit more shape to this one, so I think I actually prefer this. I think it's a great contender for birthday dress just because of the pink. It's a little bit different, something I'd normally wear, and it's very fun. So yeah, I'm very happy with this one. Let me know if you like it. I feel like the pink that is this bright is gonna divide people, so I'm really interested to hear your thoughts. The next contender is actually from a previous Zara haul. I will link it in the top corner if you wanna go and watch it. This one, I just think is so beautiful. It's so simple, but fits me really, really well. I feel really comfortable in it. It's nice and like stretchy, but the material is like thick and quite firm at the same time. It's cute. It is just cute, simple. I know I'll feel good in it. It makes a great backup if none of the dresses that I've picked up are great. I know I will always feel really good in this one. It's just like a real classic to have in your wardrobe for any occasion, to be honest. So this is my backup dress for life. I absolutely love this dress. It's just really, really simple. A really nice, easy dress to throw on. It fits me really well. There's not much more to say about it really, other than it is an absolute wardrobe staple and I love it. So depending on how we all vote, what we all think once I'm done trying on, I might wear this one on my birthday. I might wear it just around my birthday because I've got a lot of like different little dinners and drinks and things like that. So it's a really nice, easy one to throw on. But can it compete with the little brown like alternate ruche number? Because I really did love that. And I think maybe I would choose to wear that birthday week over this. Let me know which one you prefer. Then we have an old favorite i love this this is from house of cb i picked it up this year as more of a like contender for wearing to various weddings but i thought i had to throw it into the mix as the birthday dress because it is like the dress it is so so lovely to wear again lots of like draping and it's really nice to go from dinner to drinks in it is very short but i just think if i can't wear a dress that has like a very short slit in it on my birthday when can i it's a very high contender for me it's absolutely stunning. I will show you it on now. Every time I try on one of my backup dresses, I think that backup dress is my favorite and then I try on another one and decide that one is my favorite. And that is once again the case with this dress. I absolutely love this dress. It is so gorgeous. It is probably the most risky of all of the dresses I own, like this slit. How I have never worn this and flashed someone is beyond me. Very thankful that that has never happened and touch wood, it never happens. It fits really nicely. I feel really great in it. The color really suits me in my opinion, I think anyway. It's just one of those perfect dresses and one that I actually do think like is special enough to be a 30th birthday dress, but I would still rewear over and over and over again. So this one for me is a high, high contender. Like when I really think about it, I'm like, yeah, maybe this, this could be the one. Yeah, I would love to know what you think. I know a lot of you love this one. For my wedding guest try on dress haul. Hopefully this video is slightly helpful for more of like an events thing for like autumn winter. There are definitely a couple of these that I think would be suitable. A lot of these would not be suitable for a wedding, but there are definitely a couple that I think could also work really nicely for an autumn wedding. The only thing I would say about this dress is that for me, the material, the cut, the way, just the way it is in general, lends better towards being a summer dress rather than like a dress that I would wear in autumn. However, it's my birthday and I'm not really gonna be worrying about like weather or anything like that, given that we're doing like restaurants and like bars and things like that. I'm not really factoring the weather into it too much in this case. This one is just a really gorgeous one. And then we have a dress which was the contender for birthday dress last year and I don't believe it made it which made me really sad and this dress absolutely bangs so it needs another chance. I think for this one it might not be my actual birthday birthday dress but this one is going to be worn birthday week for a various occasion because it needs it needs its moment and it is really really stunning. It has like the perfect like shape over the hips or if you have hips it's gonna like kind of curve to them if you don't it's going to give you a little bit of that shape it's got a zip up back the seams are gorgeous as well the way it is made is beautiful like it just fits 
my body so well it gives me a little bit of lift where i need it it's like got the most beautiful structure to it these seams on the back it goes down here and then comes out i just think it is absolutely stunning and the way it makes my body look is just I, I absolutely love it it's got like structuring here like boning across the chest as well which gives you a little bit of like lift it is just the most gorgeous dress i absolutely adore it so that one needs to have its moment this birthday but will it be the birthday dress you guys get to vote so this for me is just the perfect little white dress i absolutely love it it just has like i said earlier the best structure like all of this boning here around the chest i love it i do not have to wear a bra with this because it just like lifts all on its own and then it's just got the most gorgeous seams that really like curve around the body and it's just really really beautiful it literally fits like a glove it is one of those items i will always have in my wardrobe one of those ones that i will crack out this time of year be like do i wear it should i wear it for this should i wear it for that it's a real great fail safe one that i will always feel good in so i'm thinking like maybe this and a black blazer could look really cute for a dinner out and if all else fails and i'm having a real crisis of confidence on my birthday i can wear this just really really gorgeous easy to wear dress this one would actually be one that i would love in like a print or color or something like that so that when it comes around to events that aren't appropriate to wear white at i could still wear like a dress of this like structure but just not in white but yeah i'd love to know if you think that this should be like a birthday dress or whether it should be in the running at all let me know and then we have another little white dress but this one this one's i don't know jury's undecided on this one guys so you guys get to help me it's one of those little like slip dresses but it's like a mini slip dress really nice like crisscross back really simple sometimes i wonder if it looks too much like i should be sleeping in it unsure i did buy it more as a dress to have in my wardrobe over the summer but i felt like on its own it did just look a little bit too much like i should be sleeping in it so i am thinking and this could work with the house of cb white dress as well but i am thinking of having this lovely black blazer from Zara over the top of it. So just like really, really simple, but very cute. The only thing I would say about this one is this is more of a drink dress rather than an eating dress. Not because it is white, actually. I don't really worry about that. I very rarely get food done myself. She says I will get food done this now that I've, I've said that. But actually, it's just the fact that it doesn't have any structure to it whatsoever. So it's going to show a food baby. So this is more like a drinks in london kind of option but let me know what you think so this one i have had in my wardrobe for a few months now and i still haven't had the chance to wear it i would love an excuse to wear it so if we could all love this one and vote for it that would be great just kidding vote for like the strongest one obviously but it's such a gorgeous little dress the only thing i would say i think i've already said this previously is it does just feel like should this be sleepwear should it not i feel like rachel green in friends where she's actually wearing the slip dress and she's trying to convince the guy's parents that it's an actual dress usa not ready that's what this dress reminds me of and i know we wear these dresses a lot now but there's something about the fact that it's shorter i don't know i'd happily wear this if it was like really long and i wouldn't even think twice about it being like nightwear ish but because it is shorter i'm just like not sure but it fits really beautifully it's a really nice one i think it would work really nicely with the zara blazer that i have just like thrown over my shoulders for me though it doesn't feel like 30th birthday vibes it feels like date night vibes like work thing vibes what do we think let me know do you love it so that is it for all of the dresses except one if it has arrived we're gonna see it now okay are you guys ready for the wild card dress so this dress is from asos i spent the best portion of the day earlier this week refreshing the page on this dress praying that it would come back into stock in my size and it did the birthday gods did me a solid i absolutely love this it has all of these tiny little pearl details oh my god i am just beyond obsessed with it it is so cute it's got adjustable straps which i love because i just feel like we all really need that it fits like a dream and is very like it really reminds me of the dress that megan fox just wore to the vmas but if i were doing it so it would just be covered in pearls and there's slightly less nudity but yeah i absolutely love it is this it I think this might be it. It's just like, it's the perfect fit as well. Like bodycon, the length, bangs. I am, honestly, I'm so happy with it. My only, my only fear now is ruining it before the actual day of my birthday. So I need to take this off so carefully. <laughs> oh, it's 
just so pretty though. So that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you've got a birthday or a special occasion coming up, I hope this has given you maybe a little bit of inspo as well. A big happy birthday also to all the Libras that have birthdays coming up and all the Virgos that have had birthdays, obviously. But this video is well timed in with Libra season. I'm going to love you and leave you here and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.